What is up? Epic Gamers. Today, I have a hot, sticky Rising Rampage opening. And why is it hot and sticky? Because it's 38 degrees Celsius around where I live. So, not only are we gonna get some hot cards, but it's also gonna be hot and sticky around here. So, as you guys might have heard, uh, Konami included a brand new super rare rarity in um, this set called... It doesn't have an official name yet, but people are calling it Prismatic Secret Rare. Um, and the ratio for pulling uh, a Prismatic Secret Rare are one card in 25 boxes. So let's make this a hunt for the Prismatic Secret Rare. There we go. So for our first pack, there are also some really cool Secret Rares in this set. We have Apollosa, the Bow of the Goddess, which can also be a prismatic secret rare which is around 500 euros at the time of recording or 400 I think we have new Simorg support uh, the marine sets are finally coming to the TCG um, it's not the best set in my opinion we have a uh, berserker of the Tenji as a rare with some faded letters on the top and we have White Howling, which is a very promising super rare. Maybe not that good right now, but you never know. And that's the feeling that I have with this set. Ooh, one card that I really like, even though it doesn't really make Reptilians better, but... So, second pack. So what I was trying to say is, um, this set has a lot of cards that I think have potential in the future. Um, but aren't that good right now. So we have the new Yosenju cards also. Uh, we have Fuma Wave, which is a reference actually to the old school video game um, that uh, Getsu Fuma and Ryu Kaki are based off. Uh, we have Fortune Lady Past, really cool. And we have Ikelos, the Dream Mirror Mara, which is a um, really weird new TCG exclusive archetype. Um, that I don't really understand, but maybe their future support will be really good. I don't know. I mean, who's to say, right? I mean, they gave a lot of them a uh, high rarity. I think only one of them is a common and the others are supers and ultras. So, you know, I don't know, maybe it will surprise us. We have Fortune Vision, one of the new Fortune Lady cards, and Mayo Senju Hitot for our super rare. And we have an awesome new Link monster that I can't wait to put in my deck because I just like the artwork a lot. So that's worth putting aside. Um, oh, here's one of the other Dream uh, Miracles. This is the only common uh, in the archetype. The rest are all foils, like I said. So only super rares so far. We have Grid Rod, Yosenju Wind Worship, uh, Ran Ryu, finally the Wind uh, Familiar is released as a card. We have Tenju Spirit Mapura and BES Blaster Cannon Core, which is also a very good card, but I don't think it's that good at the moment, but it might see some nice new uh, combos in the future, I mean. Uh, the new FA Link monster that we didn't have yet. It's a secret rare for the OCG, but just a bland old common um, in the TCG. So this new secret rare rarity um, is called the Prismatic Secret Rare, or it's not official yet. And it's said to be 1 in 25 boxes. And the cards that can come in this rarity are Apollosa, like I said before. Takalel, his malevolent majesty, really cool card. And Link Mail Archfiend, really cool artwork on this. This uh, might be useful with the new Summon Skull cards releasing this summer, but still very high requirements to bring it out. Uh, and our commons, another Lamia, really cool. Uh, so we have Apollosa as one of those secret rares. We have Win, the Wind Charmer Verdant. Uh, we have Storm Dragon's Return. Oh, and we have Marincess Seahorse. So we have Fortune Lady Past. Ooh, and we have the best ultra rare in the set, um, I believe. Uh, Dragon, Dragoonity Knight Romulus. 
So that's definitely worth a sleeve. We also got the Fort Lady Past and our commons. Ooh, a really nice common, this one also. Gonna put that aside as well. So our first sleeveable card, people. I can't believe it. Wachow! So for our next pack, we have Full Tester, Simorg, Reversible Beetle, Tenji Spirit, Chitana, and another Link Mail Archfiend. And some more commons. No secret rare so far. But I just really want to pull that prismatic secret rare. I mean, hoo hoo hoo, baby. If we pull that, I'm gonna twerk. Ooh, I thought I, I thought I saw something, but it's probably nothing. Yosenju Sabu, the return of the normal. Fumawe, fist of the unrivaled Tenji. Ooh, and Morpheus, the dream mirror black knight. Again, one of the other um, dream mirror cards. I don't really see them do anything, um, but at least their artwork is cool. I mean, that's something, right? Uh, fist, yeah, we saw that one. Another barricade blocker. I will put him in a sleeve, though. Nice artwork. So I might not be as talkative as normal. Basically because it's so hot and sticky and my throat hurts. Um, we have Fortune Vision and Hypernova Burst. Which uh, is also a very... A card that might be very promising in the future. I mean... Um, uh, Infernoids. Infernoids can use it, so... I don't know, maybe they can abuse it or something. Uh, we have Marincess Seahorse, Full Tester. We have Rising Fire and Simorg, Lord of the Storm. Named after the structure deck it first appeared in, Lord of the Storm. Which is a really cool throwback for all you... Uh, ooh, and we have Mannequin Cat, really cool common. Already part of a very weird hand loop. Which I don't really know all the details of, but hey, hey. We have Grid Rod, Simorg Sky Battle, Rogue of Endymion, Ross Felger, the Disparate Doom Eagle, and Morpheus the Dream Mirror White Knight. Now we only need uh, Ikelos, and we'll have. Ooh, another. And we have uh, all the Dream Mirror cards. Oh no, we need the Field Spells too, I forgot. We have Volt Tester, Yosenju Sabu, Ran Ryu, Reversible Beetle, Fick Viper, T301, and Hypernova Burst. And some more commons. Beat Raptor, this really cool card, but wind monsters aren't really tearing it up at the moment. So, on to our second half of the box for our hunt for the prismatic secret rares. And other secret rares basically because we haven't pulled a secret rare yet i mean come on what the fuck uh, rescue interlacer fortune lady rewind and a dream mirror of terror Ooh, that's a really nice artwork but sadly not all cool artworks are good cards that's basically the sad thing about Yu-Gi-Oh. for me personally at least our next pack we have the draw discharge Reversible beater, be, be, Beetle, Drimmered Glimmer, Rogue of Endymion, Fist of Unrivaled Tenji, and another Hypernova Burst. Wow, if we didn't have enough already, we're getting more. I didn't ask for that, but maybe Konami wants me to play Infernoids with, uh, with this bad card. We have Yosenju Wind Worship, Simorg Onslaught, Fuma Wave, Tenji Spirit Mapura. Ooh, uh, ooh, mmm. And our first secret rare, hmm, is Cap Shell, which uh, is, I think, also a card that might uh, be viable in the future, but not at the moment, sadly. Um, so I think I'm just gonna uh, hold on to that one, put it in a sleeve, put it in a binder, and just forget about it until it's uh, a good card. Because that's how Yu-Gi-Oh works. Not really, but... Ooh, look at that. We have a damage card right from the pack. What the hell? Sex stat summon, baby. Marinsa Sea Star, Yusenju Sabu, Rogue of Endymion, Rising Fire, and Simorg of Darkness. Really cool uh, artwork, though. Next, Pekaroo. We have the little baby chicken. 
Simark Onslaught just sends you Oroshi channeling Telekalel and another Lord of the Storm Telekalel Uh you send you Isna so in Japanese the uh, you send you's all have these complicated long Japanese names and for the TCG release they just abbreviate it like uh, I think the uh, Pendulum Monster is called Hitotsumen Miraji and now it's just Hitot uh, Dreamer Glimmer, Fortune Vision and the cover card which isn't that great but it is the cover card so I don't know another mannequin cat which is nice future for fortune vision let's put that aside uh, by the way in other Yu-Gi-Oh news we got uh, the complete new speed duel starter decks and booster set leads and I was very excited to see that they're gonna release some very old cards from 1999 that never made their way to the TCG and release them for the TCG. We have White Aura Monoceros, which are like Fire Reaper, uh, Blue Eyed Silver Zombie, um, and some insect monsters like Alien Section. Can you believe it? Alien Section is coming to the TCG after 20 years. We have Draw Discharge, Wind Worship, Fig Viper, and the Darkness Bird. We have, let's see, we have, we have four packs left and only one Secret Rare. So in these four packs we need to pull one more Ultra and one more Secret Rare. Can we do it? I hope so. Because I really want some Secret Rares. Uh, Psychic Fervor, Sea Star, Defender of the... Le really cool artwork, by the way. Rising Fire, and... Oh yeah! Not a Prismatic Secret Rare, but one of the more... I believe one of the more short-printed Secret Rares uh, in this set. Fortune Lady, Avery. Really cool. Wasn't uh, able to get the uh, OCG version. Or basically, I didn't buy the OCG version, but a uh, really cool card. Nice, one of the cool secret rares in this set. So yeah, Fortune Lady Every. Every time. Okay. It would be really cool if they would release a new Fortune Lady called Fortune Lady Nevery. Um, Reversible Beetle, Kikinegashi Fukcho, Talakalel His Malevolent Majesty, and another Dream Mirror Mara. And we put the rare aside. It's getting hotter and stickier here, guys. And we're getting to our last packs, too. Rescue Interlacer, Defender of the Labyrinth, which is a nice throwback to the super old school um, Protector of the Labyrinth, I think was his name. Berserker of the Tenji, another one, and Dream Mirror of Joy. Oh joy. Uh, and we put the rare here. So, we have our last pack, and I think we need... Yeah, we need one more ultra rare, so can we pull one? Because that would be really nice. I'm thinking we're getting the Dream Mirror card because that would be that would complete the set. Uh, Tenji Spirit Mapura and Ooh Spirit Sculptor, the one and only. Another one of those cards that um, isn't really that good now. But um, I'm gonna get me two more, get a playset, and uh, just like Cap Shell, I'll put it in my binder, forget about it, and I hope it goes up or something. Another mannequin cat. So for a little recap of the more noteworthy cards, we got a playset of the mannequin cats. We got uh, more than enough barricade Borg blockers, which um, is a pretty cool card. Um, so yeah, five of those, believe it or not. We got only one Baba Barber, which is because she's a short print, I believe. Uh, we have one Rars Felger, the Desperate Doom Eagle, not a really good Link monster. Uh, other, or other rares were fortunately passed two times. We have Fortune Vision. Uh, three times, which is a new searcher for the deck, so that's always cool. Fortune Lady Rewind, uh, a few Takalels, a few Berserkers, uh, some of the Tenji Spirits, 
Sadly, we didn't pull the dark one, which is basically the best one. Uh, Fist of the Unrivaled Tenji twice. Ooh, another Tlacalel. I didn't really sort that correctly. Uh, Victory Viper T3011. T uh, three Rising Fires. Um, so if you're new to uh, European boxes, we always pull, or at least I always pull, uh, a lot of duplicates, um, either in the rares or the supers. So, so BS Blaster Cannon Core, one of those, White Howling. Uh, we got two Ikelos, the Dream Mirror Mara. Morpheus, the Dream Mirror White Knight, Milady. A Dream Mirror of Terror and Dream Mirror of Joy. Uh, Simarch of Darkness, twice. Two Lord of the Storm, two. Link Mill Archfiend, two of those. Mayusenji Hitotsumen Miraji, White Aura Monoceros, and three, count them up, three Hypernova Bursts. Holy. Uh, we have Dragonity Knight Romulus, really cool. Uh, Spirit Sculptor, uh, Morpheus the Dream Mirror Black Knight, uh, Borlode X Charge Dragon, and then for our Secret Rares we have Capshell, eh, and the amazing Fortune Lady Avery. So those were the pools for my first uh, Rising Rampage booster box. Of so of course I'm on the hunt for the Prismatic Secret Rare. So this is this ain't the last thing you'll see of me with this mediocre set, which got better because of the Prismatic Secret Rares. So I really hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. And in the meantime, I'm uh, gonna do some recycling. Bye bye. Ooh uh ooh mm. Ooh uh ooh mm. Ooh uh ooh mm.